Right, well this is the uh, searchlight uh, starter and uh, in the bottom there, the coil you can see there is the uh, starter coil which incidentally I said was made of 3 8 copper tube looking at it it actually looks like it's quarter and uh, <coughs> clearly <coughs> it hasn't actually been uh, thick enough down the end here you can see that the well, I don't know how we can see it in the video but that's actually getting quite oxidised it's been quite hot um, through the centre of it I had a bit of pl a plastic bubble wrap uh, which had some um, uh, what do you call it um, ferrite uh, rods out of old um, radio aerials and the old transistor radios, the old ones there's a hot vet, probably a, a dozen or so of those ferrite rods uh, clustered, rolled up and this bit of bubble wrap poked through the centre and the reason for that was to improve the inductance uh, of the coil um, this, it did work without it but I found it gave a better spark for starting if I had a bit of powdered iron in the centre of it and that, that ferrite material so that's something you might want to do if you're considering uh, building one uh, the side there, that's my gun burner transformer once again I don't know how well that can be seen but, uh, and there are the capacitors uh, there, string of them there and <laughs> Very uh, crude spark gap there, it's just a bit of wire there between those two points uh, is where the spark jumps. So, yeah, could be a bit better, but it's all, it's worked, so there you go. And up at the top here is my uh, float voltage transformer. That, that, that actually turned out that that uh, transformer was actually 100 uh, odd volts, so I thought it was about... I thought it was less than that, but it's actually about 100 volts, so I guess by the time it's filtered and rectified with that rectifier bridge and cap there, it's probably floating at about 120 odd volts or more. But I mean, I've found that 90 to 100 volts DC usually makes a lamp start as far as a boost voltage goes. So hopefully that gives you a bit, bit of an insight to what I've used in my one. I'll send another video as well of another starter circuit uh, which is a wee bit tidier than this <laughs> that I've used on, on a, uh, a ND Yarg laser it uses a Krypton arc lamp and I needed to put something together the coil's not quite as heavy because the current's only about 20 or 30 amps in it uh, unlike this which I've been running as I said 175 amps free so there you go that's it, built into a bit of a base I've tipped the thing aside just for the purposes of videoing it. See the uh, lamp in there. And I've got a uh, motor assembly on the bottom here of an old windscreen wiper motor and a couple of gears from a um, automatic transmission pump gear and some other gear that are hooked together which rotates this lamp around. And uh, in here is uh, a couple of uh, reed switches and uh, the idea of that is when the lamp turns around one direction, 360 degrees, uh, there's a wee nut or something welded on the bottom of this, out of view at the moment, and that trips the uh, um, other switch and it re reverses the polarity on the uh, electric motor so it winds the lamp back around the other way until it trips the switch on the other side, which of course reverses again and it comes back. So there you go. Hope uh, that's uh, some help for you anyway. Thanks.